What's up friends and welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm your host Johnny Rogers. If you happen to be new to the channel, we find the most interesting news stories on the internet and then we make them more entertaining. And if you stick around until the end, I'll be answering some of your comments from previous videos. You wouldn't want to miss that. The idea of topping your pizza with crickets or eating a hot dog bun filled with bugs may sound disgusting now, but scientists are warning that this may be the way of the future. Due to overpopulation and lack of supply for protein, people have been searching for other natural means to get us the nutrients that we need. Researchers at the University of Queensland are viewing how creepy crawlers like maggots, locusts, and other bugs can be used as alternative proteins. This specialty cuisine endeavor has already come up with some crazy inventions such as insect ice cream and even fly larvae sausages. The Australian research team is hoping that they can finally find a way to tackle the issue of making sure the supply of protein meets the demand of a growing world population. Meet science professor, yes that's a thing, Dr. Lubrenz Hoffman explained how normal livestock industries will soon be struggling to keep up with the demand around the world for meat. In a statement Professor Hoffman said an overpopulated world is going to struggle to to find enough protein unless people are willing to open their minds and stomachs to a much broader notion of food. He goes on to say, would you eat a commercial sausage made from maggots? What about other insect larvae and even whole insects like locusts? The biggest potential for sustainable protein production lies within insects and new plant sources. The vegans, I think, have gone way too far with this one. And A study was done to gauge public opinion on the protein crisis to see how western consumers would react to eating bugs instead. Many were not so chill with the idea of prepping their own insect meals and would only partake if the bugs had been processed and disguised in their food. Professor Hoffman explains this logical thinking by saying, in other words, insect proteins need to be incorporated into existing food products as an ingredient. For example, one of my students has created a very tasty insect ice cream. Yeah. I'm gonna say no on that one. No on the insect ice cream. No. Or, you know, at least I'll believe it when I try it. Professor Hoffman's Queensland Alliance for Agriculture and Food Innovation also researched how larvae from black soldier flies could be used in chicken production as well. The research found that chicken diets that include upwards of 15% of larvae had no impact on the chicken production performance. That is, in regards to nutrient use efficiency, aroma, flavor, juiciness, tenderness, or long chain fatty acid composition. Old Professor Hoffman left us with with one final thing to ponder by saying there needs to be a better understanding of the difference between animal feed and human food, and a global reappraisal of what can constitute healthy, nutritional, and safe food for all. I, for one, want to see Professor Hoffman go on a strict bug-only diet for at least a year, get blood testing done, and then show us the research that this is indeed a better way to live. After I see that, maybe I'll consider eating a cricket, if it's deep fried. We want to hear your thoughts on this story though, so comment down below if you would switch to an insect diet. While you ponder that game of would you rather, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Scientists Find 200,000 Viruses Hiding in Earth's Oceans. Demon DNA says, love how you rock the Venom shirt, John. Why, thank you, it's one of my favorite shirts for sure. Dallas Lawson says, which one's the least deadly? I want to get sick from the least deadly one. Trust me. The last thing you want is a virus of any kind, even the least deadly. If it's the least deadly, it'll probably just take more time to kill you. El Franco says, where did you get that Venom shirt, Johnny? I bought it along with this Deadpool shirt for $10 at Walmart, believe it or not. I Feel Disturbed says, this just basically solidified my hate for the ocean, thanks. You're welcome. Jayton says, keep your PCs away from the oceans, folks. You should keep your PC away from the ocean for many reasons. Probably the best reason is that the internet would be terrible there. Then how are you going to watch all your favorite IO videos? Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you want any more videos like this one, just click the playlist on the side of the screen. And if you find any news stories that you want us to cover, send a DM to the Inform Overload Instagram page. And if we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.